Hello from sunny Belgium. Hi. <laughs> We're in the stunning town of Bruges, and when I think about Belgium, the first thing I think about is all the food. And I know Mark loves beer. The beer. So today we're going out in search of the waffles, the fries, the chocolate, and the beer. We are kicking off this epic Belgian food tour with chocolate. The way to do it. <laughs> We got a great tip from our lovely Airbnb host. She said there are over 120 chocolate places in Bruges. My kind of town. And then she said, they're not all good. So obviously we wanted to try the best one. She said B by B, which is right in front of us right now, is the place to go. And apparently it was started by a Michelin chef. So yeah. you know it's gonna be insanely good. <laughs> it's like conceptual chocolate, but it's also traditional. So it's like old world Belgian chocolate meets new world Michelin star chef. I'm listening. And it's right in front of us and I can't wait. <laughs> to try this. Slight change of plans. We went up to the door and there was a big sign that said that they're actually in the market square today of all days, some special event happening. So they're making us work for it a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. Our chocolate game is strong and uh, we're motivated. I'd say of all things that motivates us, it's chocolate. We will find you designer Belgian chocolates and when we do, we will eat you. So many ups and downs today. <laughs> not only is it not closed and at the market hall, it's a whole event of chocolate. Oh my god. We're at a chocolate event by accident in Belgium. Thank you guys. Wait a minute. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Now the concept is um, that we, we flavor chocolate with flavors in the way of milk or pure or white is always flavored with something. And every combination is a number and every number is a, a little box. There are two kinds of combinations. It's a balance or it's a push-up. Number three is a balance. Why? Rhubarb is kind of sour, but the violet makes it smooth and round. Okay. Okay? Okay. And that's based on a push-up. It's for example number 23 combination. The 58 is a push-up and it's pushed up. One number that has a push-up and a balance. Wow. balance is strawberry and lemon. That's the and same push -up, but it's another preparation flavored with lemon and bergamot. It's blown up with nitrogen. Whoa! White is a bit sticky in the mouth, but now with 8% of nitrogen, so air, you don't have that. So it's gone in two seconds, and what stays in your mouth are the flavors. The now, science of chocolate. I'm gonna ask you to take a piece okay. and put it in one time in your mouth. Don't bite in it. Okay. If you bite in it, I bite in you. Okay? <laughs> okay. There you go. And now, go. There you go. I'm not finding a preparation idea for you. What's he doing? Now, stay, stay calm, will you? I take it it's hard to stay calm. I don't think I've ever tasted something like that or had flavor that felt like it was slowly being, like air being let out of a balloon. That's a good way to describe it. Like, it was almost like the air pockets as they slowly compressed. It releases the flavor slowly. I feel like the flavors are touching like ding, 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 different taste buds all over my mouth, even though I don't have the chocolate in my mouth anymore. It looked like you were having an out of body experience. I kind of was. I'm thinking of the science behind it and the nitrogen and how we put the nitrogen in. Okay, let me try this it. This is an experience, it's not just a trying chocolate. It's, not only, it's, it's really an experience. Let's do it. <laughs> let you do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's hard to get these grins off our faces. Like, I knew it was gonna be good chocolate. We're in Belgium, we were at a chocolate festival. It was recommended, like, I had high expectations. Honestly, I don't feel like I need to try any more chocolate in Belgium because I'm so sure that nothing is going to surpass that experience. It's actually funny because we're at a chocolate festival, yeah. so there's just all kinds of merchants selling chocolate. Tons of them, all the and best ones. I had no interest in trying any other yeah. chocolate after that. We said bye to him and I was like, yeah, time to go. Yeah. Like, we I'm started good. at the top and <laughs> we can leave now. 
Do you realize we're making a video about food? We're supposed to go eat other stuff now? I know, it just might be all downhill. I kind of forgot. <laughs> Okay, so we've just left the Market Square and uh, it's about a 10 minute walk. We're heading off to get some fries now. And full disclosure, we actually went to this place yesterday because where we're staying in our Airbnb is very far from the downtown kind of tourist area. And we just stumbled across this place that was all locals and- We loved it. Absolutely loved it. And the area where we just were is full of fried places, but none of them look as legit as this one. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to go back. They were so nice and there were only locals there. <laughs> Apparently they line up around the block, so. Where you wanna find. Yeah, so that's where we're headed now. I guess we're trying to recreate yesterday since it was so good. <laughs> it was a success. It was a success. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, it's bubbling away back there. Oh my God. Jar. In fact, I think I have. So I fit right in this country. <laughs> Look at this. That's just mayo. Absolutely delicious. Like a delicious gravy on Sunday night. Mm. It's almost like a Sunday roast in a dipping sauce. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. When you look outside, what do you see? Exactly. There's no tourists here. It's a local spot. Yeah. That was really, really good. That woman, Mallory, is so nice. Mm -hmm. She is just such a lovely person. <laughs> so anyway, great, great place to get fries in Bruges. So good. Yep. And I think it's waffle time now. I would agree. We've had sweet, salty, and now it's time for some more sweet. Back to the sweets. What is more Belgian than waffles? I actually think waffles more than fries or chocolate are the number one thing 100%. that I think of. I think most people think of. Do you want chocolate with whipped cream and strawberries? Yeah. You're like, yeah, I think. That's the right thing to do, yes. <laughs> the right thing to do. Look at that. That looks amazing. It's so beautiful looking. The way they did it in like two little towers of whipped cream. And she put extra icing sugar on. I think you better bite into that. Oh, we're sharing this, right? That, my friends, is the look of somebody who's just gone to heaven. Waffles I've had before don't have this crunchiness on the outside. She said in Belgium there are actually two types of waffles, the Brussels waffles and then the Liège waffles, and the Brussels ones are bigger, with no sugar on the outside, which sounds more like at home. These are the smaller Liège waffles, and they're made with sugar. So as they cook the waffle, the sugar actually caramelizes on the outside, and it gives us this delicious crunch as you bite into it, and then it's soft inside. So good. Exceeding my expectations. Yeah. So we just left the waffle place and we found this really nice guy to help us find this pub because Google Maps for some reason in Bruges just seems to struggle quite a bit and it puts us five, ten minutes away from where we actually are. The map is actually shaking, like, like as if I was shaking the phone, but yeah. I don't know. So this nice guy walked us all the way through Bruges and brought us to the pub that we're going to now <laughs> to get a beer. <laughs> which is last on our list of things to do. And apparently this particular place has been in business for over 500 years. It's called Café Vlissingen, and it opened in 1515. So that's where we're headed now.
right, so the consensus is that Belgian beer equals good. <laughs> Because even <laughs> she liked her beer, and she doesn't like beer. Yeah. No, I actually drank the whole thing. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hate it like normal. Yeah, I really enjoyed mine too. It was really nice. Yeah, and I, I think my favorite part was just being in that pub, though, with all of that history. The fact that it's been that pub for 500 years. And we actually found out that the building itself is even older. It was from 1485, and it became a pub in 1515. So, super cool. It just has that atmosphere that you cannot manufacture. No. Just that coziness after years and years. I've had made the proclamation that this is my favorite pub in all of Bruges, <laughs> but it so happens to it's be the only the one. Only one. one. <laughs> but I would keep Still. going there. <laughs> yeah, I would go back. I really like, I feel like history, even if you don't like beer, or if you like beer, obviously they had a lot of beer to choose from. Yeah, and if you don't like beer, they had wine and all kinds of other things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today as much as we did. We ate a lot of food. I loved, all of it. Me too. None of the food the let us down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this day out in Bruges, eating lots of Belgian food. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to our channel for lots more travel videos and we'll see you in our next one. Bye.